Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. Hope everyone's having the most glorious day <clears throat> in our beloved King Yeshua HaMashiach. And I have to tell you a story about last night. I went to my favorite place, uh, which is it's either a national park or a state park, <clears throat> but it's out at the ocean. And I don't know if you know the term jetties or not, but I grew up with the term in Florida with the Jacksonville jetties. Jetties are <clears throat> the big rocks that stick out at the at the um at the beach. So when the waves are coming in it crashes against the jetties. It crashes against the rocks. And it's just an amazing setting. And that was particularly great last night because the water was high and you could see God's majesty. And it was just amazing. The waters were crashing against the rocks and against the other side of the beach. So much more than usual. <clears throat> it was kind of a um, a misty a misty rain type of thing. So it was it was kind of wet, <clears throat> and I guess it was very windy out there and so anyway to get to my story um, I was on my way back to the car and so I was stepping I was stepping on the stones you know to get back to follow the path out and <clears throat> I managed to step on the wrong one <coughs> Excuse me. and I ended up slipping and falling and our great God Almighty cushioned my fall because it could have been much, much worse than what it was. Um, and when I fell, you know, the initial reaction is, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong with me? <coughs> Excuse me. And then I heard that it's not as bad as you think it is. And that was from King Yeshua. And so I'm still, you know, shaking my head, going, uh, what just happened? And I get up and um it turns out I felt my my chin, it was scraped up. And when I was laying there after the fall for a few seconds, I thought I had might have broken my leg. But like I said, after I fell, King Yeshua told me that it's not as bad as I thought it was. So I knew I was going to be okay. And listen, guys, he was right there. He was right there with me. There's a verse in Psalms. 91 that says I will be with you in trouble I will deliver you and honor you and he was right there praise our mighty glorious King Yeshua <clears throat> he's always right there protecting us glory be to his name glory be to Father Yahweh's name Glory be to the Holy Spirit's name. I tell you, <clears throat> it was um, a very scary fall. And when I had gotten myself upright, I was still on my knees. And um, I guess just wondering what to do next. King Yeshua, King Yeshua told me to get up and try to walk. So he was right there telling me everything to do. So I got up and I walked. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Oh, praise to be to his holy and precious name. I glorify his name. He is so wonderful and so faithful 
and so gentle and so kind. I was diagnosed the minute I fell. Isn't that amazing? <clears throat> He's a great physician. So anyway, um, after I get home, I start realizing what else is wrong. And my left hand took the brunt of the fall. And I had, like I said, it was really misty and rainy. So I had actually put on three layers. I put on two sweat jackets and one sweatshirt. And normally I go out there with communion, so I would have had my purse and everything with me, but he told me not to have communion that night. So <clears throat> he already had my path set straight already. And um, he's just amazing. Anyway, the side of my leg, it's just bruised. Up. I just got bruised and skinned up. And it could have been so much worse and also when I was sitting there right after the fall he said you will not have to go to the hospital you will be fine he's just so amazing I praise King Yeshua's name I praise his name forever and ever for he is always with me and he was always with his faithful even when you think he's not there he is right there with you he is right there with you all praise power glory and honor to our glorious God amazing faithful wonderful loving so powerful and mighty and he goes before you and he makes your path straight. And I tell you, he's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. The greatest. And I will never go back to my old life. Never, ever. For I will never let my king go. I love him so much I love my glorious God forever and ever he's so wonderful and it's so hard to describe him because he's just indescribable glorious is he He held my hand the whole time, the whole time. And then, I have to tell you, whenever I got in the car, I had to go pick up my husband. And um, I usually have a flower. I got it as a, um, like a fragrant flower at first. And of course, the fragrance long gone. But I kept it because the flower is pretty. And it stays on my vent. And it never falls off. But last night, when I picked up my husband, I noticed that it had fallen. And then I heard King Yeshua say that his flower fell. So, or his flower has fallen. One of the two. But tears just streamed down my face. That's how much he cares about me and you. He cares about every little aspect of your life. He truly does. Every little thing that you think he doesn't notice, he does. He truly does. So anyway, I wanted to come on here and glorify his mighty and wonderful name. For he saved me last night. He truly did. It could have been so much worse. Okay, so for today, I'm reading Psalm 34, and to go along with the word I received on 24 October, I'm still trying to get my thoughts together, sorry about this, 
I'm still reeling from last night. And he hasn't let me baby my hand either. He's had me move it and work it today. He is the great physician. Glory be to his mighty name. Okay, Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, <clears throat> and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, <clears throat> and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And I apologize for my voice, because it seems like my voice is fine, but every time I go to start to do a video... It starts acting up. Okay, this word I received at 24, um, 10.49 a.m. on 24 October 2015. Daughter, write these, my perfect words, down for my children to hear me. It has been foretold. Turbulent and unbearable times are to come. My loves, we are right here on the precipice of it. I am about to tell my mighty and faithful angels to go forth and pour out my wrath upon earth. I have given my daughter a vision. It is of my father's hand grabbing the top of earth and shaking and shaking and shaking. Everything will be turned upside down and my children will come to me as they see their mighty God in action. I am warning and pleading with you, my creation. I want you to be with me the great I am and not be cast into the depths of hell where you feel my love nevermore my heart is heavy with grief for the ones that I created that won't turn their hearts toward me their true God their creator I keep them alive and breathing even this very second without me there would be no creation you would not exist but I the eternal God in heaven above desired to have man as my companion to feel emotions to have happiness and contentment as they walk with me in the cool of the day I knew I would give my life for all of mankind from the very beginning I love you that much you are God's family part of my very heart my creation no matter what you may have done let nothing prevent you from coming to my heart the Son of God can and will forgive you if you come to me in complete brokenness and a contrite heart, I cry out to you, all of my creation. I cry out to you, loving my creation always and forever. Lord God Almighty, King Yeshua HaMashiach. 
and I didn't praise our God after I spoke to you, so I will praise him now. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our mighty Father, who art in heaven, glory and hallelujah to your holy name. Hallelujah for your perfect and tender mercies, new every day. Hallelujah for you watching over your little ones. Thank you for your precious son right there with me and myself. Praise be to his holy name. Thank you. My God, you are my protector. You keep me safe. For I know that fall could have been a lot worse than what it really was. I know that you cushioned my fall. And I thank you so much. I will sing your praises forevermore. My holy God of glory, mercy, grace and honor, strength and might. I thank you, beautiful Holy Spirit, so as you lead me and you comfort me and you convict me and you tell me if I'm doing something wrong, which is conviction. Thank you, my mighty God, for everything you do for me. I love you so much. And I glorify your holy and mighty name. In King Yeshua's holy and mighty name. Amen and amen. Hope everyone has a wonderful evening. God bless.